as a Japanese economic miracle. Japan experienced rapid and sustained economic growth after the end of World War II. But since the early 90s, the economy has fallen into stagnation, eclipsed by Asian tigers like South Korea and the rise of China. Now, a Japanese entrepreneur called Sota Watanabe is working with the government with an ambition to make Japan number one again, this time in the burgeoning crypto and Web3 industry. Sota Watanabe, welcome to this week's episode of Yahoo Finance's The Crypto Mile. Yeah, thank you for having me today. I'm super excited to be here. What is the current situation of Web3 in Japan? Are there any exciting things that the rest of the world should know about? Yeah, I think that's a good question. So a lot of the Japanese companies, especially the big companies such as Toyota or Sony or NTT, would like to work on Web3. And the Japanese government made Web3 as a national strategy back in last September. And the uh, Japanese government also published, actually the ruling party published the, the Web3 white paper version 2, which include a lot of the you know, cutting edge op- opinion in the paper. And it is also approved by the government already. Uh, I see a lot of the enthusiasm and I see a lot of the energy in, in Japan right now, especially a uh, big company. Uh, the reason is very simple, I guess. So Japan used to be number one, recognized as the number one in terms of, you know, car, in terms of electronic goods, and so on, right? But we completely miss, miss the Web 2. So we don't have a Google, you know, Meta, Amazon. We even do not have a Alibaba, Tencent, and we even do not have a Line. Line comes from Korea, right? So we miss Web 2. So our decision maker right now in Japan know the age of Japan was number one. And the, we are losing right now. And the Web3 is the next big opportunity, right? For the Japanese company as a country. And a lot of the people are talking about AI, but in terms of the, the volume of the data, I think English is much more than Japanese, right? And Japanese company does not have much data because we don't have a big Web2 company. So Web3 is the next opportunity for Japan itself. Could you elaborate on the ambitions to make Web3 innovations that are currently happening in Japan to the rest of the world? Japan is recognized as the leading creator country. So we have a lot of the electronic goods, we have a lot of the manufacture stuff, but this is like hardware, right? So as a country, I think Japanese people and Japanese company need to invest more in software. So in this sense, I think making a platform, a lot of the Japanese company are interested in making platform itself. Maybe they are on blockchain or they are to blockchain and the wallets. I think this is what they have to do. Japan is the big market and this is the issue itself because the market is big. The company you know, provides service and product only in Japan and they can make money. But problem is this market is shrinking. And the Japan is one of the, you know, elderly society, right? So we need a company or we need a founder, we need a product that make money outside of Japan to grow the economy. So this is the what I think the entire country have to do. Are Japanese manga, anime, and computer game creators making any inroads into Web3 or deploying their creations on the blockchain? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, a lot of the creators, gaming company, and also uh, you know manga, anime creator would like to work on Web3, especially NFT. But the problem is they don't know how to, right? And the Web3 is global from day one. So, we don't have a, a lot of the people who understand the global business. We have a bunch of the people who understand the Japanese business who can speak Japanese, but uh, we don't have a much people who understand the global business and who can speak English very well. So this is the issue, but I think situation is changing a lot. And from the government perspective, that some of the politicians said, you know, we have a great content like IP, but this IP does not make money outside of Japan. Okay, I had heard that Japan has an, a vision to become number one again, this time in Web3. Can you elaborate on this ambition? I named a star back in 2020. The meaning is a star. So we would like to be a hope in a global market, especially Japan, because I'm a Japanese founder. So as I said, we have a bunch of the great company in Web1, before Web1, right? but we don't have a mini global company in Web2. 
at the age of Web3, we have to make something new. We have to make, you know, very innovative company that can be bigger, just like Sony or just like Toyota, right? You know, if we cannot make it, I think our economy is going to shrink. In terms of like a Japanese culture and the mindset, people follow the successful use case. But it is really tough to make successful use case. I think Japanese people is very conservative compared to American or maybe some of the European. So it is really important for,、uh, for Japan to make one successful use case. And ideally, we would like to be a one with a successful use case. And、uh, there is a chicken and egg problem in terms of law and tax. You know, we need a use cases to change the law. So, what should the Japanese government do to encourage the Web3 sector within Japan? Definitely a tax and law. Because as an entrepreneur, it is really you know, hard and difficult to enter the gray zone. If it is white, We should go. It is black. We shouldn't go, right? But if there are a lot of the gray zone, the, a lot of the entrepreneurs hesitate to enter the market. Yeah, especially a founder who are using real name, right? No one would like to be arrested. Why has the Japanese economy been stagnant for so long? What obstacles could stop Japan from achieving its ambition to become a world leader in Web3? So, I, I think the reason why the economy is shrinking a lot is that、uh, we don't have a successful global use case recently. I mean, we had a Sony and we, are, we have a Toyota. I think Japanese people are really proud that to see, let's say, Toyota car in London or Sony. People are using Sony headphones, right, in, in, in London. So, I'm really proud, that, proud of it. But the problem is after Toyota and Sony, Um, you know, a lot of the people are providing service only in Japan. And the, a lot of the people you know, started from Japan and win in Japan and go to the US. This does not work in the you know, internet era, especially in Web3, because it is borderless and global from day one. In Japan, if we have the you know, very great product, there is a similar service in the US. And you know, their scalability is much faster. Than, than product in Japan. So, this is a problem. So, we have to increase the number of the global entrepreneurs who are providing the service across the globe from day one. Or maybe Japan is going to be the last country to enter for the Japanese you know, founders. If we have a bunch of the entrepreneurs who are providing service out of Japan, and once law and tax are fixed, everyone comes back to Japan. And then we can make a global company or product. And these k i n d of the use cases, these k i n d of the people are really needed in Japan right now. All right. Soto Watanabe, thank you so much for coming on this week's episode of Yahoo Finance's The Crypto Mile. Thank you very much.